This boat behind me right now is a symbol of the current state of fishing in Scotland. But unlike this boat, most of the boats have been taken out of the water by humans, not by the sea. This is why. In 1984, Scotland had a very important law removed, its three mile limit. The three mile limit protected nurseries and shallow living marine life from bottom trawlers and dredging. Without this protection, over 90% of Scotland's precious coastal habitat is at risk. Fast forward 25 years and we are where we are now. We missed the clues that the ocean was giving us. That moment came in 1984 when the fishing stocks were really, really low. Instead of making changes to the way we were fishing, we removed the limit. And as a result, this meant that fishing could happen in the most precious areas. There's been total destruction and devastation because of this. And this has caused an all-time low for the fishing stocks in Scotland and an all-time low for the number of fishermen out fishing in the seas. I'm actually, I'm looking at these and it's so easy to mistake like this kelp for plastic. And I think a lot of wildlife must have the same problem as me. <laughs> I wanted to share this story because I think it tells us that we do affect our environment. Whether that's on a big scale or a small scale, as an individual or a company or a government, we are changing our environment little by little for good or for worse. We just have to decide which one of those it's going to be. Found some real treasure. This, this is called a mermaid's purse. And these little stringy bits here attach to the seaweed. So they need the seaweed. And inside, a dogfish would have hatched from here. Pretty cool, huh? It's nurseries like this one right here that are being destroyed in the shallow areas around Scotland. This should be a really, really common sight. Look at the dogfish. Whoa, look at this. <laughs> it's kind of a perfect example of our environment being affected by us, right? Nature attached to a bottle. You probably know that a lot of marine animals are killed every year by plastic, but you might not know that it's over 100,000 every year. But they are not the only thing that is affected. This innocent little bit of plastic is how much I'm probably eating every week by accident. And you are exactly the same. There was a WWF study that said 250 grams of plastic, the size of a credit card, is the average amount of plastic that a person eats every single week by accident. And that's just from huge plastics, like regular sized bottles and stuff that break down into little plastics, which then enter our diet. Yeah, I don't really want to be eating that. Let me show you something. These buddies are some things that we salvaged on the beach, but they're not the only thing. We found this road sign too. Not bad, huh? We also found this. Things like this are what are gonna break down into the sea. They start off big, but they just break away gradually, bit by bit, and enter our food chain. And last but not least, this beer can. This is still unopened. 2022, it will still be okay. And beer is one of the main ways that plastic goes into us, water and beer. Oh, oh, it still smells of beer. I'm not gonna drink that though. <laughs> I don't want this in my body. And I also don't want any plastic in my body. Thank you. Beer and water aren't the only things that make plastic enter our food chain. Two of the other biggest culprits are shellfish and also salt. Both of these contain traces of plastic. Anything that comes out of the ocean is going to contain traces of plastic in it now. And scientists don't know how bad that's going to get. I showed you guys this, but what if in another 10 years it becomes this? Or in another 30 years it becomes this? Scientists don't know what effect that's going to have on our body but it can't be good, right? <laughs> right now, we're in the position that Scotland was in, in 1984. We know it's getting worse, but the world keeps producing plastic, more and more. It's like we're replacing fish, a marine life, 
It was plastic. We can't make the mistake that the British government did in 1984. We're turning the entire ocean into a gigantic bin. <laughs> so, remember Scotland's story. Remember that each of us has the power to change our environment. For better or for worse. I really wanted to make this film because I feel like there's probably a lot of people out there who maybe didn't know about how plastic gets into our food and our diet and our water and stuff and care about it as much as I do. And so if you're one of those people and you're looking for solutions, then here are five of them that you can do tomorrow to try and help reduce plastic in the ocean and in our food and water. Number one, never throw rubbish anywhere except into a bin. Number two, if you have the option to, you can choose not to take things like single-use straws or other plastics like packaging around food because these items create a dependence within the industry upon plastic. If we stop buying plastics that are going to be thrown away immediately afterwards, then the supermarkets and the shops are going to catch on and they will stop selling it because there won't be a demand for them anymore. We've created this demand and we can also take it away. Number three. There is an environmental organization called WWF. If you haven't heard of them before, they're huge, they're worldwide, they're in a lot of countries around the world. And right now they have a campaign going. You can visit the website, you can visit the website called yourplasticdiet.org and on this website you can sign your name. And the idea of this is to get the people's support to encourage governments around the world to develop stronger laws surrounding plastic. Number four, this is probably the easiest one. Just tell your family and your friends about this problem relate the information that we have in this film and through that we can spread this knowledge and help create something better in the future. Okay, and number five, this is the last one. So we talked a little bit earlier about if you drink beer or water, they are putting plastic into your body. And I also mentioned seafood then. Well, one of the things that is very easy and you can choose to do today is to just not eat seafood. This is gonna have the most microplastics and by not eating seafood, you're not putting those microplastics into your body. I'm gonna put the links and more information in the description below, so go and check that out. And if you wanna increase the effect and the impact of this film, please like it, please subscribe to the channel and please share and tell your friends about this film. Thanks for watching.